Robert Rodriguez recently redid his uh, inf his uh, well his famous film uh, from *Dust to Dawn*, and uh, as a TV series. And I gotta say, it turned out better than I expected. It's a uh, exclusive right now on a uh, on the Canadian Netflix, and I think it's in the uh, states as well under a uh, under another channel, their cable channels. But I am way more impressed than I thought I was gonna be. We've got the uh, Basically, we're re they're retelling the story of the first film, but they're adding in a lot more. The uh, TV show starts it with a uh, a girl that seems to be running from something, and we soon find out that uh, it's kind of it's in a jungle area, and it's some kind of voodoo ritual that she's being uh, that she's in. We're not sure where it ties in with the film yet, but uh, it's a pretty cool, pretty graphic uh, kind of a, it's a snake type ritual, and uh, it was a good opening for the show. Now we have the uh, Gecko Brothers in this one, of course, since this is the uh, we uh, do the first film with a lot more added into it. So Seth and Richie Gecko are both there. Of course, they're not being played by Tarantino and uh, and Clooney right now. They're being played by DJ Katrana, and uh, it was more uh, maybe known to you guys if you watched the uh, GI Joe movies. He played Flint, and uh, the other actor is what's his name? I'm gonna check over here because I got it up here. Zane Holtz, who's a kind of a Canadian actor model, and I gotta say he's doing a really good job as Richie. They're really adding some layers to Richie that uh, more than were there in the film. In the film, Richie's visions are kind of like a, they're psychotic delusions. They're a, he's definitely a warped and twisted mind, and that's the kind of character that Richie is. They're very they're kind of like sexual warped psychotic fantasies. In this one here, uh, Richie's visions. Actually, tie into the story, and uh, it looks like he's not just crazy. These visions may have he's crazy, but his visions may have made him crazier than he normally would be. Uh, Richie knows stuff without knowing that he knows stuff, and uh, this was a great introduction to the Gecko Brothers. DJ does an amazing Clooney in this, and takes the character, keeps on the Clooney esque side of it. He doesn't really take it, the character into any many new directions right now. It's only the first episode, and uh, he does keep it very Clooney-esque. And that, that's not bad. It actually works because uh, it they do such a good job, these characters, that it eases you quickly into this characters and back into the world of From Dust to Dawn. So if you haven't seen the movie in a few years, uh, you'll definitely get that feel when you're watching this of uh, of, the, of the film. Remember, this has uh, been an hour-long segment, so... Uh, they're going to have more time to explore. Now, the uh, priest character in this one, who was played by Harvey Cartel in the movie, will be played by Robert Patrick. Now, I haven't seen him yet. He, hasn't come in, he doesn't come into it until the second episode, and right now I want to watch the pilot episode. Uh, we do get Don Johnson in the first episode as, uh, as a Texas Ranger, and uh, the main uh, guy right now is uh, Jesse Garcia, who is his, who is his partner. And uh, there's a huge hostage-taking shootout in the first episode that uh really comes off as it's very tense cats are running around. it's very tense it's very uh very cinematic uh there's horror-esque horror -esque aspects in the uh first episode richie's visions especially uh the opening we uh find out about a, a, a guy by the name of carlos and uh, that's uh wilmer vladimir something like that the guy from uh, the '70s show, and of course, Handy Mandy. So uh, he's playing a kind of a cool character in here. Some people said that it may have been the Cheech Marin type character from the first one, from the first film. But I don't see that. I see him as more of a as a bigger character than that. There's going to be some pretty uh, cool stuff going down here. Uh, there's going to be some beautiful ladies. There's going to be some uh, wicked vaunts. There was no nudity in the in the first episode so I'm not sure if it's going to go that way like you know like some of the shows do right now with uh heck even shows like girls have like massive amounts of nudity but uh this one here hasn't gone that way yet it does uh hit the horror aspects I want to see who's going to be playing the Selma Hayek role I think I may have actually seen that actress already in this episode but I want to be sure that that is actually going to be her but uh overall I gotta say it was entertaining the acting was spot on. Great direction for the first episode. Uh, I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to seeing the other episodes. And unlike the uh, 
many of the Netflix shows. I don't think they put on all the episodes at once. They're putting on like one week type of thing. And uh, I kind of dig that. Let's maybe watch it whenever when I want to. Kind of like when uh, Hulu puts on their uh, shows. But, uh, you know, not... I mean, I can't marathon it right now because all of it isn't there. And I'm glad I can't because I wouldn't get my studying done. But I am very impressed with the first episode. So if you have Netflix Canada, definitely check out From Dust to Dawn the series. Uh, if you're a horror fan, it's something worth checking out. And I'm looking forward to uh, following this through and hoping that it keeps up the pace and the quality of the acting and uh, uh, writing that they have right now. Because right now it's pretty damn good. So uh, fingers crossed this keeps up the quality that it's been at the moment. And uh, I'll keep maybe I'll keep doing more updates on this, especially for my American friends that may not have the series yet. It's worth looking for, and it's going to be something that if it keeps up like this, I will definitely be buying the Blu-ray set when it comes down, down the road. Thanks for watching, and for me right now, it is really uh, after 4 in the morning, and i gotta get a little bit more stunning than before I go to sleep, so uh, it's time for tea.